Hello and welcome back to MTD CNC North America, my friends. Thank you so much for joining us. And today I have a really special show for you. I'm with my buddy Ricardo, and we're gonna talk about this molding machine, but not just in North America as in the US, but today we're talking a little bit more specifically about Mexico, which I love to talk about as well. So Ricardo, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. No, my pleasure, Tony. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Uh, it's a pleasure for me as well. So we know Modig as being a really incredible machine, right? We know it to be quite significant in the world of aerospace, but it's in so many industries and it has so many unique capabilities that aren't often seen, you know, everywhere we go, but we're seeing it more and more, and we know it's made in Sweden, and it's the only machine company in all of Scandinavia making machines right now. That's so right. the unique talent of what Modic does is what we want to talk about today and learn more about. So firstly, let's talk about what Modic has been like in Mexico and what made you decide at your company that you wanted to bring on this machine because you have quite an array and a line of significant machines, and Modig is one of them. Yes, you said it perfectly right. You know, to start with, when we first learned about the Modig product, we were thinking about the aerospace industry. But once we learned more about the machine, we found out that the machine is perfect for so many applications. There were so many parts coming into our hands, we didn't even know how to hold them. Once we learned the Modig technology, we said, oh my God, I should have known this before, you know? And these days, it's been great having them for so many business opportunities into other applications like automotive industry. Now with the electrical vehicles, there are so many parts out there, Tony, that you can make in this wonderful technology you never ever th could have thought before. And Mexico is really well known for what's going on in the automotive world, but the aerospace world in Mexico is pretty massive as well. Yes. And Modig they have this unique ability to take the different attributes of how we can speed up cycle times and reduce cycle times and Sometimes it's about rigidity, sometimes it's about software, you know, we play with the tool diameters and everything goes along with it and ultimately, and I'm going to let you kind of be the expert here because that's what you are and I, I've learned so much, but ultimately it's about creating faster cycle times because we're looking at price per piece, right? Right, absolutely right. And one of the things that is very unique about the technology is that the tool is really much more time in contact with the part. So you're really capable of producing more parts and more chips while cutting with one single tool. And that really does make a difference. And one of the things that's very important, it helps you to keep your tolerances very tight because you're not changing tools every single time. So it's really taking the best advantage once you have the tool cutting the part and making as many operations as possible. That's very, very true. And price per part, we're all playing that game, right? Absolutely. And so with this machine, its unique capability, the one specifically we're standing in front of, may be the most popular, but there is an array of machines for anyone working in almost any part of our manufacturing world. But specifically, this one is unique in the sense that we can take all sorts of different types of bar and feed it through the machine and reduce that overall motion and movement is kind of what you're talking about, right? How's that work? Absolutely, absolutely. See, the, the concept is just wonderful because it's, you're, you're just really bar feeding the material. So if you ever, let's put it this way, think of it in, for a second like a Swiss lathe. You know, when, when you have the right application for that type of machine, it's just wonderful. And this is the same thing. It's, some of these products are so hard to hold because walls are so, so thin that this is really the only way to hold tolerance on a part like that. So it's really production, it's cutting the part, price per part. You know, every single day, everybody's looking at that. Material handling, you don't need to have the part coming from this to that machine, to that other machine, and then to the machining center. And you're accumulating tolerances from holding from one spot to the next stop. And then you have operators grabbing the part here and there, and then shifts from the morning afternoon and then at night, it drives you crazy. I mean, this machine is gonna save you a lot of uh, headaches for sure. Well, Ricardo said it best. For those out there watching right now, I'd like to explain this from a turning perspective, right? When we think of a turning machine, almost all of us always think bar stock and circular, right? Right. To make the concept easy to understand, this machine takes a rectangle or a square or whatever type of material that we usually put on a machine to cut into blocks to load individually or auto load or how we want to do it but typically individually which adds to setup time this takes yes. that one long piece just as a tube would just as a bar fed tube would and it does the same thing same technology but with 
rectangle and square and even unique materials. This one's shaped like a T. Absolutely. So this is how we reduce that time, right? Absolutely. And then you're also saving a lot of in, in work holding uh, fixtures because you can use probably the same exactly jaws you're using for one part to make multiple different parts in one single setup. Otherwise, you might have to change the fixture and then there's associated cost with every single fixture you will have on a lathe, if, if, I was a, if I was a special jaws or a machining center, if that was some sort of a special machining center and work holding on a five axis or you name it. So you really, it's, it's just wonderful. This is just saving and saving and saving and production. It's, it keeps it keeps running and running and running day and night, and again, once again, I, I'm, and this is very important, guys. Saving is very important, yes, but holding your tolerances while being very productive and very aggressive when cutting. This is this is this is the right choice. It's such fascinating technology, Ricardo. It really is. And tell me, but I think this is a way to rethink the way we manufacture parts, right? Because not everyone right. has thought about doing it this way, but this amazing Swedish company has gotten creative and created a whole line of machines that really focus on this part reduction, this cost per piece. And this is the world we're in, just kind of rethinking the way that we've traditionally machined for generations, right? Absolutely, yes. And just think about, I mean, Modi just launching new products where uh, they're doing the inverted machining. I mean, they're, they're really just doing it in a different fashion way. I mean, in the past, we're always thinking on the chips being your enemy because they're, they're staying there uh, and you keep trapping them into the part and then you need coolant to get them out and air blow and so on. So now they're inverting the part, so the chips, they just flow. I mean, Modig is just very disruptive, if you would say, in that aspect. Ricardo, that's, that's amazing. And that's even a brand new conversation, guys, for those of you and gals out there watching. When Ricardo says inverted, yes, he means reverse the table and the spindle and flip them upside down, which allows for those chips to be flushed out, for that coolant to go somewhere, for the longer tool life, cycle times, finishes, all the stuff, that, all the games we play all the time, right? Yes, that bed is upside down and it's moving in all sorts of different directions and the spindle at the bottom that's is right. doing this type of movement, right. Right? right? Really, really unique technology. So we know, as you say, disruptive, fantastic stuff. We know it's a very cool machine that reduces cycle times, that allows us to make more money on the cost per part. Let's talk a little bit about implementing this technology in Mexico and what the service has been like having to cross a pond where sometimes there's complications, but to my understanding, it's been smooth sailing for you guys down in Mexico. It is, it's been wonderful, you know, and, and one other thing is, it's not a out of this world way to program these machines. It's just very simple, easy learning. The, 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 the programming and the control itself is so friendly. So that has not really been a challenge. I mean, we're using standard tooling. But when you think of this, you might be saying, oh, but what type of tooling am I going to be using now? You know, it's exactly the same tooling you're using on a daily basis, same brands you know. And the jaws and everything you use to set up the machine is exactly the same. So in Mexico for us, it's been just like seamless. I mean, the machine landed there and there was really not much to be done other than just taking advantage of the technology. It's really easy to use and, and support it. I mean, these are standard components. There's nothing again out of this world to get this machine up and running. So it's, it's just really using what you have in a smart fashion way, I would say. This is really what they're doing. Ricardo, I am so happy you brought that up because those out there watching, we've said unique, we've said creative, we right. said disruptive, we say all these things, but that also might come along with a fear of going, oh man, I gotta learn something brand new. Yes. But that fear doesn't actually need to exist. When we're looking at the interface here, we're talking Siemens and Fanuc, both very popular controls, so you can run it almost on the day it lands, right? So the learning that goes along with it and the parts, as you said, it's not that type of new technology that should scare us off is just the way that we're machining that allows us to do more, right? Exactly right, you said it perfectly right. That's exactly what it is. Well, Ricardo, from MTD CNC, we wish you continued and excellent success moving forward with Modig and with all of the machines that you represent. From MTD and for the people watching right now, if someone wants to get in touch with you and learn more about this machine, the company in general, the other machines that you guys carry, what's your website, your socials, any way that they can contact you? Yes, they can go to the www.hemac.com and from that point on, 
they can find everything about us and we'll be more than glad to help you with every single application you might have. Well, mi amigo, you did a muy excelente job and we really appreciate you sharing this story with the global audience at MTD. Our pleasure. Thank you very much, Tony.